and Cuscrat. It's Gemma. Claustrophobic Darren. Mary and Jerry from Darry. Can't believe you do that to me, Mammy. Why is very short? Shouts. Shouty. Hi everyone <laughs> and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm here with Rosie. Hi. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Rosie and I both study history at Durham University. We just thought we would film a video about, like, basically just giving you some insight on what a history degree is actually really like, and particularly what history degree is like at maybe a Russell Group University or specifically at Durham. So I've Look at outside. you though, you're just stood you there like. So <laughs> I'm scared, Rosie, for us. I'm really skin. scared. I've got sun cream in my bag. If we haven't <laughs> said it before, both Rosie and I are from Irish backgrounds and we're just not made you're for this kind of down. heat. You're yeah. mousy, Dad. You're mousy, Dad. Um, but yeah, welcome to Cambridge. Thanks. I've never been Cam's before. crack. <laughs> Cam's crack. <laughs> um, we're just about to go to King's. Um, King's College, Cambridge. <laughs> Who knew that umbrellas had a dual purpose? <laughs> Paracels Abbey. <laughs> I'm already a little bit burnt. Are I'm, you? I'm rosy. You're rosy. So basically guys, we were obviously going to do the punting, but because it's, what is it today? Like 30 something so degrees? Hot. I, I think it must be 37 by now, honestly. And our little Irish skin just cannot take it. Hi. Say hi to the vlog. Hey vlog. Okay. Guys, <laughs> Sam wants to be on the vlog. Feeling all Italian today. Oh god, I do look Italian. <laughs> Are you actually? Yeah. yeah. It's the stripes. What do you want to know about uh, punting? Have you been punting? No. Um, I have. Yeah. Oh, well, you're from Cambridge. Did you do it yourself? Um, no. no. <laughs> I'm my friend. Did you do it brave it yourself? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I don't have any muscle. <laughs> the beauty of punting is um, not to fall in. So if you're a self hire. If you take one of these boats out, you'll probably end up falling in. Um, but we like to we like to drink quite a lot when we punt, don't we? Yeah, there's no drink or drive rules on the river, which no. is a good thing. You actually punt better if you drink. Yeah, yeah, really. Yeah, yeah you can see can ahead. Test it out. You can see a lot further ahead. As you saw me there, I was doing quite. I was doing some straight straight pushes there because I had a little drink this morning. You want the full punting experience? You need just a little bit. Yeah, you do. What else are you doing this week, Rosie? Anything exciting this week? I'm out for my friend's birthday tomorrow in Cambridge from the night nice. out. Nice. Um, I'm going to London at the weekend. Um, to see who? Um, see my friends. Who? <laughs> you don't know them, they're from home. Do they live in London? Yeah. I'll know them. <laughs> <laughs> They'll know me. Uh, they will know Lord me. Lord Alan Sugar. Yeah. And um, I think her name's like Elizabeth Windsor or something, I can't remember. Mm. Lives on I'm my really road. Good. <laughs> I'm really good mates with her, yeah. She came round for a cup of tea last night. Yeah. Gave right. me the little through the window. <laughs> I was like, in here, yeah. in here, you. I was just gonna say, I chose it because it was one of the subjects that I actually just really enjoyed at school. And especially if you don't know what you want to do as a career, like it's quite a good one yeah. because it has a lot of skills. But it doesn't mean you have to go into being a historian or being a history teacher. Well, I hope yeah. not because I that isn't what I want to do. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's where we're filming. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in a in a shop um because it's just too hot outside i think um the jump from a level to uni uh we should probably discuss because like that is actually a massive jump like i wish i could sort of emphasize to my past self um mm. that uni history is not like a level history mm. like a level history i feel like they don't hand it to you on a plate but it's like they tell you what you can read Whereas, and they tell you exactly how to like, if you had a normal essay, it would be like, you literally need to write it exactly like this, you know, have a balanced argument. That's another thing. When you do a degree, guys, never, ever, ever have a balanced argument. Never give the opposing, yeah. or like you can give the opposing view, but you have to show why it's completely invalid. Yes, we haven't done that many modules yet because we've only just finished first year whereas we're doing completely different modules next year we don't have any of the same. Yeah we're doing so this year Rosie and I actually had five of the same modules that was how we became friends because like we basically saw each other every day. Next year we're not doing next year we're not doing any of the same modules so I'm actually specialising next year in 
by my Germany. Rosie is specialising yeah. in. Um, Wait climate for this. In the, middle, in the medieval ages. I mean, what even is that? I actually basically guys myself. Rosie's gonna <laughs> learn what the weather was like <laughs> in like I'm actually 400 BC. I can't wait. And the structure is also so you get about one lecture a week per module, um, yeah. so you'll have five lectures a week, definitely. And your mm. seminar for your core module, so you always have at least six contact hours a week. Yeah. And then every three weeks you get a seminar for your electives. So that means that if you don't go to lectures, you have like five things every three weeks, which is ridiculous. But we went to like... We went to all, all of our, our lectures. lectures. Yeah, we did. Also, it's not like... I think lectures are diff of different uses to different people, but it's also really nice just to see people. Yeah, and get out. <laughs> When you have a seminar, that is like a discussion amongst like the students where like you share ideas and stuff, but the lecture is actually like your lecturer, your historian, like giving you their opinion. And like ultimately they're the ones who like plan the questions for your exams, they mark their exams. So that is like giving you like a massive insight into like what they're interested in. Workload, I think history is when I was being pretty intense, like, to us, everyone said like before uni, oh, history has a lot of reading, and I sort of thought, yeah, but like, history A level had like quite a bit as well. It is a lot, and we did get quite a lot of essays. Like we had a formative essay for each of our modules, which is not counting towards yeah. your degree, and then summative. a summative, which does, even though first year doesn't actually count, but it does count to yeah. pass the year. And, and then, then we'd have you have the exam book review, for each. source book commentaries, review, yeah. the mini dissertation, which takes up quite yeah. a lot of time. Then and we had five exams. Term. Like this yeah. isn't like oh yeah we'll wait till second term to settle you in. It's oh like, yeah no. Oh yeah, do this essay, week please. four. Not to scare you guys if you're coming to Durham, but basically I think you have up the first month where you don't really do any work. You just do like a little bit of seminar reading here and there. Week five hits and they're like, you need to start thinking about those <laughs> like, essays. So I expect you to have read these five books which are this size and you're no. like, that's yeah. the bit to take away. You need to do a degree that you're interested in and we yeah. both really enjoy history. So yeah. even if it's a big workload, you're going to be all right. Like if I was doing physics... Yeah. And it was a really small workload. I wouldn't be happy because I just no, don't understand. Yeah. I'm not good at that yeah. stuff. So, and I think like as well when you go to if you come to Durham, everybody just like is low key. It, like does have that little bit of a geek in them. Yeah, more well, speak yourself. <laughs> no, but like if you say you speak to like a historian, if you were like, oh, what's your like historical fun fact? They would just be like, do you not have a historical fun fact? <laughs> no, do you not? Do you not? Shut up. No, Abby's Maybe. better at history than me. No, I'm not. I'm no, I'm not. Yeah. We said, no, I feel like we did. Like... Maybe I'm just a bit more nerdy. No, I'm joking. No, that you meet a lot of people who really are interested in history. And like, I feel like... Mm. No, it is true. Like, it's like if someone mentions the Cold War, we're all like, oh my god, I did that. You know, yeah, like, oh yeah. Oh my god. Like, I don't know, I just feel like you have like random yeah, if knowledge. If someone mentions um, what's her name, <laughs> what's her name that you did that exam on? That woman, uh, uh, fruit and veg. Oh, Helen Bosenkamp. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Abby, we're just so like, oh, Bosenkamp. You get Bosenkamp. so engaged, I swear to God, and then you never think about stuff in the same <laughs> way. You'll literally see like an advert. Yeah, or say like, I don't know. Something really feminine and you are a bit old bows and cat would have loved that like she was a really big no can we cut I this i never ever think that <laughs> and i <laughs> love having bows and i would say as well like i don't know about other subjects but i know that we definitely have made quite a lot of course friends yeah well i feel like history is supposed to be supposed to be an antisocial one but i feel no. like if you put in effort like we yeah. like abby's like right like we're acquaintances. Yeah. No, we're actually like really good friends. And yeah. like, all we do is history. Like, it's not like we're at the same college. No. You know, we did a lot of modules the same, but it's like we both have a really good friend called Harriet, and I'm only in two with Harriet. Yeah. I think. Liv, Rachel. Yeah. Inez, like, honestly, one of my other really close friends, Inez, I only do one. I only do one with her. And we literally met 
on the stairs outside of my first ever seminar and like you just get really close because I think it is one of where it is so stressful history and it's so intense it's like you relate to each other so much <laughs> yeah okay guys so that is going to be it for us talking a little bit about history um but yeah the bottom line is guys I hope we haven't scared you this is just like about being realistic and realizing that basically coming to Durham University and doing a history degree first year isn't one big piss up like you might think you actually do have to go to the library <laughs> and we will see you in our next video